this mom was at home with her daughter. Suddenly, she was kidnapped right at her front door. The doorbell rang. And so I went to the door, and it's these two men. The men said they had a delivery, but then burst in with guns drawn. They handcuffed me in front like this. Shonda Hanley's daughter, Isabella, was terrified. I was just stunned. I said, I have valuables, I have jewelry, I have cash, I have precious metals, I can get you money didn't interest them at all. Shonda's nightmare grew worse when she was dragged into a van with no windows. Oh no, my heart sunk. I was like, we're on an interstate or something. And the guy stripped me. He put a pill in my mouth and he gave me another. Reporter Allison Hall spoke to CBS News lead national correspondent and 48 Hours contributor point, David Begno. For Shonda, this mom, her worst fears are playing out. She's in the back of this van, and it was one cop who happened to be driving by. What did he notice that was so suspicious? On his way home, late for dinner, his wife was ticked off at him. So he's following this vehicle. He sees them dart out in front of him and go on the median. I got in behind him. I put my emergency lights, sirens on. The driver of the van tried to flee, but became stuck on this muddy road outside Lafayette, Louisiana. I opened the rear door of the van, and in the van, what I thought was a mannequin moved. I said, oh my God, things aren't always what they seem. So what was the motive? Turns out, Shonda's estranged millionaire husband, Michael Hanley, was behind it all. As soon as Shonda Hanley was found, people started getting texts and videos of Michael. Looked like he was bound, gagged, bleeding. Had he been kidnapped by the bad guys too? It was all part of his ruse. Hanley pleaded guilty to second degree kidnapping. His sentence, 35 years at hard labor. And the two hired kidnappers drowned as they tried to escape. The kidnapping of Shonda Hanley airs on 48 Hours Saturday on CBS.